Okay, so the guy with the megaphone, Adidas backpack, purposely on the front of him so that you can see the slogan on the back of his hoodie. Okay. Now, he was part of the crisis actors that staged the invasion of the BBC building a few weeks ago. Okay. Now, here, here we see the same old filmers that we don't trust. So, the guy with the Adidas backpack and the megaphone. They made him the leader a few weeks ago with a couple of other people. Now we're going to see him in an event in a minute that's probably going to go viral. So therefore I think it's very important we review it. So look at him and look at the guy next to him with the backpack on. Grey backpack. Okay, so both of them are there together walking. And then we're going to see both of them in a minute. In another event, and like I said, this event is probably going to go viral. And I have no doubt, again, it's staged. So let's have a look, shall we? Where's Finn John? Do the right thing, John. Come on, man, you're a man of many words, John. I respect you, sir. John, I respect you, sir. I'm going to you. John, it's a real shame, yeah? Real shame you didn't speak up for the children when you could have. God, are you a paedophile, John? Okay, so... The guy we just saw with the crisis actors is now here calling Jon Snow a nephin rat. Okay? So, what they've done here, they stage an event to give the mainstream media and the public in general, carte blanche to now say, um, if you're pro-choice, if you're anti-lockdown, you're connected to these people who run around London harassing people like Jon Snow. Now, to some people, Jon Snow is going to be like a national hero, so they're going to be like very disturbed about this. Now, in no way, shape or form... Am I promoting the mainstream media? But again, I do not promote the alternative media either because I believe they've purposely been put there to guide us along the wrong path. And what they've done is they knew very well that during these times that the awake would look to be guided. So what they've done is they've set up their controlled opposition like Piers Corbyn, Kurt, David Curtin, Resistance GB, etc. They've then added some crisis actors to the mix of stage events. And lo and behold, we've got events like this, which are literally there to discredit us and make us look bad. And you know damn well that in the papers, like they already have, they'll be saying, National hero, Jon Snow, harassed and abused by baying mob of, you know, anti-jabbers, right? So have another listen. Man, speak up for the children. Do the right thing, John. Come on, John. Do the right thing, John. Come on, man, you're a man of many words, John. I respect you, sir. John, I respect you, sir. Come on, sir. I'm at you. John, it's a real shame, yeah? Real shame you didn't speak up for the children when you could have. John, are you a paedophile, John? So he said, I've got respect for you, sir. And then he says, you effing rat. And then the other guy says, John, are you a P? And I'm not going to say the word. So how funny that the people that we just saw in that march are here together as well, abusing Jon Snow. So your guy in shorts and the guy with the Adidas backpack. They were walking together a minute ago and now I've shown you they've come away from that massive group of hundreds of people and they find themselves now here with Jon Snow calling him an effing rat and goodness knows what. And like I said, all it does is help the mainstream media, the narrative, the elite. That's all it does. But they know that, but they don't care because they're getting paid to do it. Simple as that. 
So on one hand, he says, I respect you, sir. And then a few seconds later, he says, you effing rat. And then someone asks him if he's a P. Yeah. You got to understand that we as normal, rational human beings wouldn't do this. We wouldn't do it. Okay. It doesn't benefit us in any way. We may not agree with the mainstream media. We may believe that they're liars, but going to them and confronting them does not help. In fact, it helps them because then they can be the victims. Just like the BBC report was the victim when, when he got chased and harassed by, you know, crisis actors, which I've exposed. And here, yet again, we have another staged event with crisis actors again harassing a journalist. This time, a much more well-known journalist that probably most people in England of a certain age know about. Like I said, some might consider him a national hero. Some might consider him part of um, a deceiving network of the media. Now I'm on the latter part, but I certainly wouldn't go around harassing him because I know that all that's going to do is paint me in the bad light. And it gives him victim status. So these people that did it achieved nothing. All they did really was just prove to me that they're just crisis actors. With his, with his hood up, with his backpack on the front of him so that you can see the slogan on his mask. And then calling Jon Snow an effing brat. You know? So we'll leave it there everyone. But yet again, these people expose themselves and their behaviour... And their connections tell you everything. It doesn't matter what he's saying. He can be saying the most righteous thing through that megaphone. But it's all about his behaviour and his connections. And his behaviour is that of a man chasing around Jon Snow to then give the media the ability to discredit us completely as people who harass Jon Snow and who called him an effing rat. And then the other guy who asked him if he was a P. Yeah, simple as that, guys. And it's not a coincidence. Every time they go out on these protests, it's full of staged events because the whole thing is one big staged event. They're all controlled opposition and they're crisis actors. Okay? Some of them are DJs. Hint, hint. Some of them are actors. Yeah? There's a DJ and an actor in this event. Yeah? At very least. But yeah, so just remember when you see the story about Jon Snow getting harassed, you know exactly who it was, who he's connected to, and his behaviour exposes him as a crisis actor because normal people like you and I would not behave like this. Simple as that. So take care of yourselves. Where there's darkness, we shine our light the brightest. Peace for now.